So, Bob Cigar Guy, right? <sighs> okay, so you, you go to a lounge, you get something for Christmas. I don't care if it's an event lighter, single jet, one of them cheap $4 ones that you get, or a nice little single, nice little triple, nice little double, maybe even a quad, right? You got your big old lighter. Soft flame, Joker does a nice soft flame. You got all sorts of stuff going on, but uh, if the lighter don't light, the lighter ain't worth the darn. So you buy this lighter, you put your money down, you get it, and you go home and you use it a little bit, and it works good. And then you go and you go fill it up and use it again, it works good. And then you go to do it again, and for some reason, the dang thing won't burn no more. It won't light, it won't do nothing. Well, most times, with a brand new lighter, there's there's one thing that causes that problem, and it's just you got to have the urge to purge. That's right. It's that simple. So when you got a lighter, and you see like I got this one right here because it's got a clear fuel window. You can see in there you got you got fuel. I filled it up slap full when I filled it up, and there was no room for anything else. And as I'm using the fuel, the fuel escapes out of here, and so. Air has to, atmosphere has to come in and fill this thing up. And when the atmosphere fills this thing up, that's fine and dandy. It lets the gas keep going out so it doesn't vapor lock. But then when you go try to put some more some more fuel in there, it can't get in there because all the air is in there. You got to get the air out. That's all. All right, I done, when I was real young, 25, uh, bought me a couple nice lighters and, and they worked a couple times. I ended up throwing away because the stupid things wouldn't work. I just didn't purge my lighter. You gotta have the urge to purge. How do you purge? Okay, there's that little valve that you fill up with. That's the same valve that you're gonna purge from. I don't care if it's one of the little cheap ones. If, if you've got that, if you're filling up with butane, it works. It works for whatever, right? There's one in there right there in the middle of the dial. That was on the bottom. I ain't never seen one nowhere. But on the bottom, even on soft flame, it's, it's on the bottom right there, okay? So what do you do? You can take and get yourself a, a break off a piece of twig. You can get a, a paper clip. You can get a mechanics wire. You can get a, a little T90 screwdriver at the edge of a fork. You could get whatever you want to stick up in there and start pushing that thing. Because what you want to do is you want to burp this thing. You want to purge it out. But I got to tell you, I did that for a real long time until I found a tool that didn't cost very much. It works really, really good. And it saves my lighters because when you start using that stuff, it can spit in your face. It makes your hand cold. Um, it also can bend the gate, the valve in here. And uh, let's let, okay. Okay, so I got a $3 lighter. I'm not really worried about it. I'm just going to do it and go because once it don't work no more, I pitch it's gone. But I got something like this or something like this is 50, 60 bucks. Right? I want to break that thing. So, Cigar Prop, a good friend of mine, Kevin Shahan, owns Cigar Prop. He's got a bleeder tool. All made in America, all machined, all this and that's great. But what it does is the is it sits right on there and it's got these two little two little weeping holes here where, where it's gonna let all the atmosphere come out. Make sure that when you set it up in there, you don't do like I'm about to do, stick it right in front of your face. But if you do, don't have them things blowing at you because you'll blind yourself. All right, so you're just gonna line it up. You're gonna give her a push. That's it, look at that thing, it's bubbling, right? Actually, it looks like the fuel swole up a little bit. That's just, that's just it's releasing the pressure, so. We're going to let out, we're going to let out, we're going to let out. Now, we can sit here and let out for a while. I wouldn't worry about that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take our butane. Get you a good filter butane, right? Don't get you the cheapest, cheapest stuff. Because if you do, then you're going to get into other problems, which is jet issues, um, the the jet, the fuel getting to it issues. There's a bunch of ton of issues. Just get you a decent, decent, decent stuff. You don't have to spend the most money on the most stuff, but get you some good stuff. This Calibri stuff is good for me. So, I'm going to line her up right there. Hold it upside down. I'm just gonna fill it. Watch. There it goes. Now, if I'm really in a hurry, I might burp it a couple times, and it gives me a little bit of extra fuel. I'm not that worried about it. Uh, you put you put it on there. You can bleed it again, and try and get a little bit more out. If you really, if you're really worried about making sure you get every little little drop you can get in there. All right. Most lighters have big fuel fuel bladders now. So it's not that big of a problem. Now, it's cold. And so it's probably not going to light right now. And so you're going to hold it in your hand for a minute. Um, don't don't try to light it right out because you're going to be like, that dude, I'll tell you what, that Bob Scar, he sucks. He told me how to do all this stuff. I, I got that tool or I did, I purged the thing. And my hands got cold and, uh, and my lighter still don't work. And then you come back a week later and you try to use it and, and dad's if it don't work, right? So what you're doing is you're just warming up the, the fuel in there. The fuel gets too cold and it just doesn't want to combust right. So... done that's it if you get one get one if you don't don't 
but you got to purge. You got to have the urge to purge. Purge, baby, purge, baby, purge, purge, purge. I'm Bob Cigar Guy. You like funny cigar reviews? That ain't very good, but might make you laugh with a country twang to it, family friendly. Check out my, ch check out my channel. If not, I'm cool with it. Have a good day. It's Bob Cigar Guy. Peace. Purge it. Purge it, baby. Purge it.